again that shot clock rolling down to five. Robinson finding the wide open Gibson. That was a great was play a for Robinson. Game. He left. John James cannot finish. Butler with room. That's the most space any Chicago Bull player. Gay timeout. But you normally you tell a point guard, don't leave your feet before you make a pass. But this one, Nate gets away with it. And then in transition, Butler, as you said, on the first real open look. Now Butler cuts toward the baseline, comes back up, up top, tries to set the screen. Two on the shot clock. Robinson banks it home. Watch for this club. Second year man out of Marquette. Butler for three. Starting lineup again without Luol Dang and Kirk Heinrich tonight. Here's Robinson for three. Oh. So now Haslam and Bosch each with a jump shot. We'll see if this kind of gets the heat into their offensive rhythm. Butler comes back to Butler. Robinson wide open for three. Find that with these types of minutes where you're having to fight just to get the ball up the floor every minute of the game, you can imagine the fatigue. Nice move by Robinson. He's able to drive the lane. Bellinelli kicks it right back to Robinson. On the move to the left hand. Chicago with the ball down by four. Robinson with a deep three. Yes. 11. Nine of the 11 in the second half. Robinson. The Butler surprised to get the ball, able to hit and draws the foul. James went down. Gibson, yes! Just under a minute and a half to play in the fourth. Robinson's putting behind the back. Goes to the crossover and hits! Nate Robinson doing it in the face of Mario Chalmers. Chicago by two. Miami calls for time. The Bulls third string backcourt. Bellinelli and Nate Robinson each with huge shots. Here's Noah with the offensive rebound that led to Bellinelli's three. Excellent ball movement by Chicago swinging the ball around the horn and then Nate Robinson who's been so good in these playoffs comes up with yet another huge shot. Robinson did not want that pick from Noah. Now to two on the shot clock, here's Robinson, he scores! Four point lead for the Bulls, and Eric Spolster calls for time. A 7-0 run by Chicago. Well, that's why he didn't want the pick from Noah, because he had Ray Allen on him on the switch, and he knew he could get past the taller but slower Ray Allen, and Nate Robinson just doing what he does putting the team on his back.